As you get to this point, this is kind of an option you can have. Just to leave this door open to the TC, block it, or you won't be able to get through it. Uh, this will prevent you from just jumping down, breaking all that stuff down there, and getting to that. You can still get to the drop box. That's about it. You might be able to nagle to get to the furnace. Or you can leave it closed to protect the, protect the PC a little bit better. But right here I have uh, this drop box. Plus furnace. And you get to this large box here. And this one is stuck inside that door. Go on from there. You get agreed by a shotgun trap. And this door. I have access to your other two furnaces. Drop large box. And a small box in this corner. And another small box right here. You have your level 1 workbench, level 2, or level 3 will go there after you upgrade. And also we will have access to the bear bench. For the research table, I always stash it in there. Got the backup right here. Your bag will actually go right here on this. We will have to pick that up. Turn it sideways, place it right there, do your research, put it back. And this is the main storage right here. You have access to one, two, three, four, five, six large boxes. And after you get garage doors put up, you can have access to that small box right there. And then you have this fireplace. To access your TC, it's slightly tricky. You'll have to remove this door from this set right here. Open that up. You can leave these doors off uh, when you're logged in. When you log off, you can put those doors back on. As you can see, uh, it's less than 1K stone, 346 wood, and uh, 154 metal frags. Alright, let's get into the base build. So first you want to start off with square foundation, pretty low to the ground. Then you want to raise triangle foundation. I'll go ahead and put these two walls on in the back. That way I know that the TC will fit. I don't have a problem with that. This will be my starter portion of the base. Let's jump up, put that in there. Upgrade. Authorize. Upgrade these. And that's your this is your starter portion after you get the code lock on there. Uh, you can run around, farm, get stone nose, wood, place it in here, drop it off and go. And this will be your your starter portion. No one will be able to, no one will be able to get up in here and access your your loot unless they actually destroy the TC, which takes quite a bit to destroy. And hopefully when you notice that you can actually take them out. Now from here you just want to upgrade this foundation. And I recommend you do this all at one time so you don't show the design inside the base. Put up right this. You want to rotate this the hard side facing you. So no one can break it. Go ahead and put your square foundation, your raised square foundation. And your two raised triangles. Right these. And you want to go and put your door right here and right here. I'm not a very good jumper. <laughs> and I don't like building in no clip, that way people can actually see how, how I do it. Instead of no clipping. So you can do this in a couple different ways here. You can put your boxes down if you already have them. If not, then go and put that on. 
Go ahead and get the doors on. Make sure you have it facing this way. So when they have it, open the door. I want you to get in. We have that way now. Good luck. So right here, you're slightly secure. As this will be the people that need lat will need ladders to be boosted up. This part in your TC. Okay. So at this point, this is your at your discretion. I'm gonna go ahead and use just the hat. A little more compact. You can use a full wall if you like and have maybe a little more room, a little bit more room on top. And go ahead and close this in. Well, this is your your base right here go ahead and get your two boxes as close to the wall as you can and on this one you'll have to rotate this right there go ahead and get your two furnaces One right here in the corner. Same on this side. You don't have to do this part, but you can get a small box. Alright there. And now use this as a as a good base for going getting loot and dropping it off. Point I'll go ahead and put door frame up here here put a ceiling on it now you can put make that wood to cut down costs if you'd like this is how I put my uh, small boxes or my large box and workbench Bench. Now you can place the instead of placing nope, instead of placing the large box as a jump jump box. Well, that you you notice I can't jump. So I'm gonna have to if you have problems like I do in jumping. You can do this and make it a little easier on yourself. So instead of placing this large box I'm getting ready to, you could place a research bench so you don't have to keep taking it up every now and again just to research stuff. But when you do that, it'll actually slightly stick up through the roof so people from the outside will be able to see what, what's underneath. How you place that. Now at this point, uh, you can start putting your doors on as you get them. Uh, them out like that so you can you don't have to continuously open them up and close them all the time that'll protect that a little bit there too get a couple more put one on that TC then one going out this way so you can pretty much leave these open constantly the whole time and always protect your TC Go ahead and put the metal shelf up. And let's go ahead and get the five. Five boxes. Alright, 
Now for this part, it's kind of hard to get that uh, this last box up there. But what you could do is either pull that TC that furnace up. I go ahead and make another one. Close this. Door. Well, can't really have to be inside of it. All right. So what's creative is kind of hard to do this sometimes. Pick that up. Place this right here. Jump up on this part. And then try to get up here. It's a bit easier than. There we go. All right. However, you, what, what side you want to put it on, you can. You can get them like this and and put two maybe. You know, but it's just kind of hard to do. Uh, you you can pick this up and do it, but however you want to do it. Sometimes it, it works, or you can get them on there. Sometimes it don't, so we'll go ahead and try it on this design, and no, it's not gonna work. So what you can do is go ahead and place the other box up there. You can, yeah. Well, you know what I'm trying to do. I'll we'll put this back on there. Work be up there. You want to get your uh, your level one or two? I'll show you can get a level three in here. Level three here. There it is. Go ahead and put uh, this up. Put this back over here. I'm about to pick up this door. Let's do it. There that is. And then you'll put another box right here in front. Right, pick that door up as well. This will be all in stages as you get items. And you can do all this. It doesn't damage anything besides the boxes and It'll be fine. You can put a small box here, or however you want to do it. Yeah, I like to go with the campfire. Because at this point, you have quite a bit of storage. And put the door back on. Place your sleeping bag. And there you go. Like I said, when you log off on night, you can either you know, have that door open. Sorry. I want to face out. You want this to face out. That way you have that so you can log off with this or you can't get in and out right there. We'll have to maybe pull that up. That'll be one, two, three, four, five doors to loot. That's pretty good for a small base.